The holiday season is a peak time to share Boston's gift for culture and entertainment. Helping to make that more affordable are discounts through the Mayor's Holiday Special in partnership with Arts Boston and the Highland Street Foundation. To tell us about some of the live performances in the weeks ahead is the Executive Director of Arts Boston, Catherine Peterson. Uh, thank you very much for being with us again, I'm Catherine. thrilled to be here, Chris. First of all, talk about how an event like this, a program like this actually, uh, helps you carry out one of your, your missions here, which is building audiences. Right. Well, we know that there are more performances during the holiday season from right now in November through um, New Year's than there are at any other part of time, uh, part of the year. And we realize that there also are just incredibly wonderful shows and music and theater that make it really fun and easy for families to go who may not have been to the theater before, who may want to go um, to something they've never seen before. So putting together Mayor's Holiday Special, along with the City of Boston and the Greater Boston Convention and Visitors Bureau, and supported by the Highland Street Foundation, is a way that we can really invite everybody in the City of Boston to come enjoy um, the arts during the holiday season. And of course, you've got adults bringing children who, who might come back at a different time of the year for something else. And those children will go up someday and, and maybe they'll do something exactly. else. Exactly. We, we actually do surveys and talk to people who buy tickets through Mayor's Holiday Special at Arts Boston every year. And what we hear is that it's a way for adult children uh, like me, um, who are, I'm taking my 93-year-old mom to go see Boston Gay Men's Chorus with their holiday show this year, and also to Jose Mateo um, Nutcracker uh, at the um, Cutler Majestic. So it's a, it's she's moved here from D.C. and one of the ways that. Uh, we're creating a tradition and making her feel at home is by bringing her to the arts. And you can do the same with your, with your younger children also. Because you're also trying to enhance the social dividend. Uh, how does that happen? It happens by giving people something in common to talk about and to share. And you come into a theater and you see something like the color purple at the Schubert Theater or um, Urban Nutcracker at the Han at Hancock Hall, and you leave feeling part of a larger community. You leave having something to talk about with your friends and family. You leave with a feeling of, of really owning the place where you live. Well, The Color Purple is a new production. This is not something we see every year, so talk about what's, what's the, the, the attraction. It's, it's, it's such a beautiful story, of course, um, with incredible music, and it's going to be at the gorgeous Schubert Theater, so it's an opportunity to, uh, to both laugh and cry uh, with a wonderful matinee evening at an affordable price, which is uh, part of what you talked about uh, with making sure that everyone is able to go, and Mayor's Holiday has deep discounts for the offerings um, from now through uh, the new year and also a lot of free events for the holidays. Well, over the years in Boston, we always associate the Nutcracker with, with the Boston Ballet, but we're talking about two other organizations doing versions of the Nutcracker, the more conventional version by Jose Mateo. And, and talk about it, because they've been doing this for a while, too. They have, and what's wonderful is that they do it at the uh, Cutler Majestic, and they also do it at the beautiful Strand Theater. And it is done with such humanity and at a lovely scale where if you're bringing younger children, um, they won't be overwhelmed by it, but they'll be charmed by it. And if you're also just going with your adult friends or family, you will see the stars of tomorrow. And Urban Nutcracker is, of course, um, using the, the uh, wonderful Duke Ellington jazz arrangement of the Tchaikovsky score. And it is so much fun. Tony Williams, uh, who choreographs it, uh, just makes it uh, absolute rock and wonderful event. So you get the classic and also um, the more contemporary version of, of Nutcracker. And of course, some of the other offerings, you've got a Celtic sojourn with traditional Celtic, Irish, or Scottish. With music. the wonderful Brian O'Donovan, who just makes it so warm and friendly and fresh every year. And also one of my other favorites is uh, Christmas Revels, uh, which again, uh, literally gets you up out of your seat dancing. 
And, of course, uh, this year they're going to be doing a Venetian Christmas? Uh, they pick a different location, a different um, uh, cultural place to, to set it in. And it's Venice this year, which should be really fun and very beautiful. This is BNN News, and we're talking with Catherine Peterson from Arts Boston. Uh, Catherine, there will also be some interesting theater going on. The holiday themed theater, of course, we got what, Charlie Brown Christmas and Velveteen Rabbit. This is the children's, Boston Children's Theater? Absolutely. And I have to say, um, they were two of the most popular things um, from last year. Um, we did incredible uh, sales with them. Uh, families absolutely adored going. Um, so those are two favorites. Um, as another favorite is Elf, which will be at the Wang Theater, uh, which will be terrific. And we also have something new coming to um, Boston, which is The Wizard of Oz, that comes in right after the new year. And we have a one-night performance at the Veronica Robles Cultural Center in East Boston as well. And she is absolutely wonderful. Just one of the, one of the great musicians we have here in Boston. We're really blessed with an amazing art scene. And we have over 500 different performances for families um, to explore um, in the holiday season. We should mention one other production. It doesn't have a holiday theme, but it's certainly timely. It's a play by Moliere called Tartuffe. Huntington Theater is putting on. Talk about why it is timely. Well, isn't it, though, um, in terms of the themes that it explores, and we were talking about it just before we went on the air, um, you read it, of course, in French. This is done in a very um, fun English translation at the Huntington Theatre. And I think for, for all the themes about... Um, Creepiness and hypocrisy, Creepiness I guess. Creepiness and hypocrisy. I was trying to find the right words to talk about uh, what happens. It's also very funny. So with what's going on in our political scene, what's, what's going on culturally, I think people will find it a way to laugh and escape at a time when we all need the opportunity to laugh and escape more. Well, speaking of escaping, uh, people can get out and go to some uh, box offices for tickets, and you've got information online they should uh, be Yeah, they can. They can uh, the easiest thing is to go to mayorsholiday.com, which is our website for all the holiday shows, and uh, you can explore um, all of the discount offerings. Um, I would recommend that people actually sign up for our emails because we're adding discounts um, every day uh, for the next um, seven weeks. And, and different theaters uh, will give us uh, different offerings um, throughout those weeks. So go to mayorsholiday.com. You can also stop by our two Bostic Spoos uh, at Copley Square in Fanny Hall Marketplace. Thank you very much for being with us. It is my pleasure, Chris. Thank you so much. And I'll see you at, at many shows to come. I would hope. Catherine Peterson from Arts Boston.